Hello there, Libra. Welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing good. And Libra, in case you don't know how it works on this channel, is that I channel out whatever, ooh, whatever spirit wants me to for however long. And it is for you, Libra. So I do hope you enjoy this and it resonates for the most part. If not, check your um, moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. Okay, you know what, Libra? There's something up ahead about you uh, feeling really good about achieving something. Maybe it's like a rest after, you know, hitting a goal. Maybe there is something about coming together or getting a home situated, completed, and finalized in the way that you want to, the way that you're inspired. You know, the Empress is all about luxury, abundance, but I'm also seeing her as a guardian angel right now, especially when it comes to your home life, uh, feeling protected from external forces that may try to challenge or impede progress because the angels aren't going to have it. And neither are you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is coming in with the Four of Wands. Also, you're also showing up as yourself here, Libra, uh, Taurus and Libra with the Empress. Um, now, take this if it resonates. It won't for all of you because this is a general reading. Now, there could be a mother, grandmother, a very strong, dominant woman in one's life here that is maybe and possibly uh, a focal point or a very important uh, person in your life right now. And also, uh, you know, I was getting this guardian angel as well. So, you know, if you do have one, a loved one on the other side, she's looking over you and your house, your possessions, you and your loved ones, your animals. Okay. Now we are in a place of recovery. We're in a place of finalizing things, you know, if you've been tending to and delegating, maybe even I was going to say deleting things only in the sense of maybe, um, you know, letting go of old objects, correspondence, uh, you know, just really eliminating clutter in your internal world, which is you and your external world. And yes, your home environment, then good for you. Okay. Now don't be afraid to Libra. If something has gone awry or something happened where you feel you have to, you know, start over, you're really not because you're actually in a place of, um, settling in. Okay. What's interesting in my mind's eye right now with this four of wands is I'm seeing a basket, um, like a old fashioned type, like a picnic basket. <clears throat> And to me, that's just signifying having more than enough uh, leisure and pleasure ahead if that's not what you're experiencing now. But make sure you are cutting some time out because, <clears throat> you know, I feel that you really are um, focused on the right things or you really are being guided to because there seems to be a spiritual presence among you, right? The angels are among you helping you stay focused. And uh, we got this need and necessity. So this is all about balance. You know, we are in a place of just surrendering to the, you know, the negative and positive of all things in life, right? The uh, nighttime and the daytime, right? We don't fight that because we know it's just part of our seasons in life. So I'm just seeing a thing about having you being taken care of, a time to take it easy. You know, Libra, I'm sensing two, two of pentacles actually too with this uh, need and necessity. Temporary changes, fluctu uh, fluctuating things, even your eternal world, right? You know, going through possible upheavals or you have. So just know that you are um, entering a time of plenty, a time to relax and a time to celebrate some achievements, goals, uh, maybe a coming together too with others or another that is, you know, important for you that I see that you will, uh, have in your life for quite some time. What else for Libra? Yeah, you're letting it go. We're, you know, 
we're just talking about you being in your king or queen of swords, decluttering, eliminating things, even people that don't serve you. And also I'm seeing a sense of maybe even letting go and surrendering the need to, you know, have to having to do more, achieve more, right? Maybe we've we're relaxing into a position here. So good for you. Keep relaxing into a position. Now it doesn't mean, you know, totally stop and get lazy. Um, that's it's the opposite. There's a lot of seeds um, I see that it, that's being planted within you. So yeah, you are in a time of receiving. You are in a time uh, to really take care of yourself too and to honor yourself, especially when it comes to um, some type of transformation that you've gone through or that you are currently going through. There's a lot of beauty with this Empress. <clears throat> what else for Libra? We got, okay, what's up with this yes? We got a yes here. <laughs> Uh, you're letting go of something so you can say yes to something new. Let's get more with this yes for Libra. Be assertive. Okay, this is you taking action. Okay, okay, well, what's up with this? Because this is exactly how I see you being in your... You are in your king and queen of swords position. Also, you know, there's some, there's there's something about you going after something and someone. I I see king of swords, queen and queen of swords, and I also see knight of swords in my mind's eye about this energy that's at play right now. So, there's going to be some I feel exciting conversations going on here with you and and another. Okay, so for those seeking a soulmate, spirit is saying um, the time is ripe, you know, to go after who and what you want to, you know, especially when it comes to a connection, maybe even friendships as well. Also, I see something too where you're taking action on really being assertive when it comes to really letting uh, things just be as it is there's just there just seems to be a real good surrender that you're doing here to stay more effortless okay let's get a little bit more about this situation for libra taking action yeah on something better yep it's romance okay now if you don't feel that you resonate with the romance part well too bad because there may be something with, with love here. Uh, but yes, I'm sen I'm sensing strong like uh, soulmates uh, with friendships too, uh, connections. And you never know where they lead, Libra. So don't give up on love because my goodness, there is something better when it comes to your love life, romance, right? Um, having possibly new friends, especially those that, that have lost some uh, friends in the past here or a uh, team of some type maybe even family see i told you go go after who you want all right let's see someone someone's gonna say yes okay and ah uh, yeah i feel i feel there's a just a very strong intellectual connection as you know as well as you know a sense of soulmate connection absolutely but um yeah, you're going to be having fun here. So good for you, Libra. Keep continuing to let go of things. Keep continuing to not feel that you need to cling on to anything anyways, because you really are abundant, okay? And you are um, achieving some type of abundance where you are producing more abundance in one's life. So you've got to be willing to let go and receive new things, new situations, and things that can give back to you. What else for Libra? <clears throat> Ask your angels. Let's see here. If you believe, yes. Unlikely you're ready. Get more information. There's something about you 
Libra, not giving into some kind of nervousness and anguish or, you know, fears of uncertainty. Cause I sense you're in this process of, uh, a sacred, you know, self-actualization, actually. So yes, this beautiful transformation. You are ready, you know, and I, I sense Empress is also just like the Emperor in a position of authority, in a position of being more than capable of leading and taking on things and implementing things and nurturing the right things, but also taking care of oneself. If you don't feel that you have a lot of energy or you're not ready, then take that time now to get ready. <clears throat> I see Queen of Pentacles with this card. You're ready here too. So uh, finances um, are looking good or they will improve. Just try to be, you know, balance with the, the spending and the saving. So ask your angels because there's something about you having um, and not giving into actually, there's, there's something about you not giving into thoughts or feeding into, you know, ideas about yourself, what are thought, which are thoughts I know, <laughs> of low self and low self esteem, not feeling good enough. And also believe too, when it comes to a fulfillment in your love life, maybe even your career life or, you know, something strong about having, um, you know, st uh, stable home environment where, where I see you being in just this position where you do feel, uh, very balanced, harmonious for the most part, because you are gaining and getting more information. So your angels are ready to give to you more information, guidance, people, whoever you need. Just ask, pray, and you shall receive because they're already saying yes. And notice we've got the moon and the sun here. So they've got that feminine and masculine energy at play. I really wouldn't be surprised if Emperor shows up. Um, that's the counterpart to the Empress. And I was already <clears throat> uh, picking up king and queen of swords so you know some of you just take it if it resonates because it won't for all of you you know you you you're more you're more than ready you're experienced uh you could be you know or have been more focused on career more decision making rather than like love or friendships you know for the most part but now you're coming into um you know, the counter balance of that. So a little bit more nourishing, more love here, receiving. Okay. So don't give in to, um, you know, situations or people that you feel are unlikely to grow, unlikely to move. Okay. And also don't give in to fears here because you don't need to worry. Whatever you think is going to happen is unlikely to, uh, unlikely to happen. And also, you know, getting more information in areas that you feel that you uh, lack, that will help you with your confidence. So just seek out, be willing to uh, ask for help, search for help if you need to, hire help if you can. What else for Libra? <clears throat> we have forgiveness here. Okay, let's get more to with this forgiveness. You got that thing about letting go. You're ready. You're ready to let some type of new love in or resurgence of love, rekindling of love, or opening yourself up to an intimate friendship or friendships. Let's get more with the forgiveness for Libra. See the signs. Wow. Spirit's showing you how to let go and receive, uh, to feel confident on your path. So believe in yourself and believe that you are in a place of receiving uh, good and quality people is what I'm hearing, okay? Because that's what you deserve, equality. What else for Libra? 
we got the Knight of Discs. So here is the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's dedicated, loyal, steadfast. So it is important to stay committed. Uh, you may also need to uh, watch for things when it comes to utilizing your resources wisely. Now, the Empress is, you know, luxury, abundance. Knight of Disc is uh, building that abundance. We could be uh, in a place of moving on, moving to a new territory to plant new seeds. So you are conserving your seeds, which would be like your energy, your time, your money. Okay. So yeah, I feel that if you've been um, needing to know if you're on the right path and this is a big fat yes. I mean, we even had the yes right here. <laughs> And there is someone that is watching over you, uh, Libra. So really believe in that. I'm hearing your ancestors really connect with you uh, at different times, different levels. So don't give up hope. They're all always showing you signs. I notice this Knight of Discs is going to uh, going where the sun is, and so you know we were talking about you. Uh, a little bit coming out, not really necessarily full on coming out of the King and Queen of Swords, but we are tapping and tuning into opening our heart to receiving, right? Uh, because now you're ready or you soon will be. And, you know, there's a, a dedicated and loyal person that, um, you know, with this Knight of Discs, that could be of a great support to you. So allow something to open up for you and flourish. Okay. What else? <clears throat> okay. What's up? Oh my goodness. Mm. Five of pentacles that we got a uh, worry here. Okay. Careful, right? We don't want negative thinking to turn into self-fulfilling prophecies here. So let's see. We, Five of Pentacles, you know, we are worried about a loss. We could even be worried about repeating a loss, right? But we can't live in that. Uh, that's just going to um, trap you into a time warp, right? That you're like stuck in some type of past energy constantly here. Let's get more with this Five of Pentacles for Libra. Because I'm seeing you on this path of recovery. So you're well on your way to recovery, but we just need to discern wisely. Yes, yeah, seek your destiny. Oh my goodness, destiny is seeking you. Do not feel lost or uh, hopeless. If you've been feeling like that, not all of you are. A lot of you have come out of a sense of worry, loss, whether it's financial, emotional, you know, both people, you know, whatever it is, seek your destiny. See this alone time as your preparation time, because the five of pentacles can indicate a time of uh, loneliness, but you are seeking your destiny and destiny is seeking you. You are never lost. Didn't we have that? Uh, didn't we have a sign that says, see the signs? I thought we did. <laughs> Didn't we? Oh yeah, see the signs. Okay, what else for Libra? Don't let this be so heavy, Libra. This was feeling this energy, this worry was really heavy. <clears throat> you know, we got this uh, card of failure, which is the seven of discs. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, there may have been a situation where <clears throat> it can't flourish anymore. You know. And it's okay to start a new garden if you need to. The seven of discs is, is the seven of pentacles. And this is why I see you, you're on the move. Like you've harvested everything you needed to out of an experience, maybe, um, you know, your money, your business. I mean, whatever you got going on here, you've harvested, but you've got seeds from this and now you're planting new seeds. And you're going to a place where, remember I was talking about this Knight of Pentacles is looking towards the sun where the seeds can thrive. So do not doubt you are um, not one or two, maybe three steps ahead of the game here. 
continue to see the signs, continue to keep worries and anxieties, stresses, whatever you got going on at bay. You know, maybe you just be aware of it and say, whatever, it's there, whatever, just but keep, keep going here. Uh, something about, um, exercise too, uh, is essential or continue that if you have been doing uh, some type of, uh, physical exercise that is, you know, suited and right for you, you know, even if it's just a few minutes, just do something that is consistent to keep you grounded. Um, okay. Let's see what else. Wow, we got the tower, seek your destiny. I gotta show you something here right away. Look at this, the eye, the all seeing eye. Yeah, God is watching over you. Divine intervention to break some, it's like something broke open here. The tower is a, about a breakdown. <laughs> and look, the tree's got a hole in it. Ooh, so we can see. Let's get more too with this tower. What do you want Libra to know about this tower here? Okay, what's what's up? What's up? Okay, the pre the high priestess surrender. Let uh, it's like oh my goodness, I just it's like let it give way. Whatever is giving away or get, gave way, let it continue. Oh my goodness, because there's something about you having more power too. So. Uh, this is a time of entrance instead of feeling like something is gone or loss. It's a time of entrance. You may also be opening up to, um, more, uh, heightened abilities. Okay. Dream, uh, mediumship, psychic visions, you know, whatever you name it, whatever you name it, you claim it. Okay. It's yours. Conserve, 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 because you are, you know what? A lot of you Libras are going to be finding out really important information when it comes to uh, life itself. Okay. I see you as a spiritual guide and teacher for others and you're being shown the way. So don't give into doubts or worry. High priestess knows about the seasons and cycles. See, you're in the season. You're, you're in a season where you've harvested your seeds, all that you can out of a situation and you're carrying forward those seeds. So nothing was wasted here. You're carrying them forward and you're going right into the right direction because you are taking your time. By the way, do take your time. Okay. Take some time here. Uh, you don't want to like procrastinate. You don't want to stop though. You, you want to take your time to make sure you are seeing these signs that you're staying focused here because you're going into the place where you can thrive. All right, let's see what else. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Look at this. What's that say luxury? Ooh, and it's the four of cups. So. We're not taking anything for granted here. Okay. Now, some of you, not all of you, but maybe, I mean, actually, I think we can all, we can all probably, uh, see where maybe we've had a lot in our life or we've had something and maybe we did take it for granted. Um, oh, okay. I just heard Libra don't, don't take your gifts for granted. Don't allow others to take your time, your energy and your gifts for granted either. Remember, this is about equality. And the other thing that I wanted to say that I didn't too, was like this, this thing where, you know, we're talking about you thriving. Well, that, that includes, you know, um, connecting with others too, um, to help you feel that you're thriving as well. And I am just seeing this, these four of cups as an overflow here. So don't take anything for granted at this time. Okay. Uh, there's going to be plenty in the near future. So if you feel that you for take this, if it resonates, if you feel that you're having to just conserve a bit, or you've had to conserve, it's been well worth it. It's going to be paying off here. You're sitting in a time of luxury. It's almost like you can, you're allowed to sit for a little bit here. Okay. Don't complain. Don't complain. Uh, spirit is saying, don't complain Libra. Okay. You're allowed to sit here in this time, this space of luxury. 
I want more too with the uh, Four of Cups. Because this is also speaking about a missed opportunity, um, being really down and out about a missed opportunity that we also tend to not see other opportunities possibly, right? So, so that's not going to happen because you're, you're also taking the time to meditate, to ground yourself, trusting in your inner vision here because you are showing up as a high priestess here. Okay. Um, oh, also secrets are going to be coming out here. Um, hmm. Might have to get a little bit more about that. Okay. That just came out. So hang on here. I'm getting more first spirit with this four of cups for Libra. I want more with this. A never ending story. It's, oh, I heard it. This is like eight of swords going on too. It's like five of cups. This is, you know, you're, these fives are very challenging. So you've got that five of pentacles. You've got that five of cups, this disappointment. And what I heard was like this never ending story. And maybe it has been, or it has been really difficult. You know, ask your angels to help you. If you've been feeling that you've had ruminating thoughts about a situation, a person, remember for, you know, it doesn't do you any good to hold on to any resentment or negativity. And we just need to be reminded of that uh, from time to time. Because sometimes, you know, that mind likes to be a little tricky and, and bring up some feel thoughts, which trigger some feelings of past disappointments. Um, and then we can be in some type of repetitive cycle here. But, you know, Libra, what I'm liking, uh, what I'm seeing here actually too, is if we go, okay, uh, four plus five is nine. Nine of cups, baby, is a wish fulfillment. So you're getting a wish fulfillment. <laughs> this is why spirit is saying, yes, be assertive, take action. You're going to know exactly who you want or whatever opportunity comes your way. You're going to know exactly the opportunity to take. Okay. So don't get too down and out. Um, now for some of you Libras, if something like has happened just recently, do take your time to honor yourself, honor your emotions, you know, things will uh, cycle out, believe it. Okay. And just hang in there because you've got something better. What else for Libra? <clears throat> Here's a Prince of Swords, or excuse me, the Princess of Swords. So the only thing with the Princess of Swords that I'm seeing in your reading right now is um, not focusing on, okay, something may feel like it's going to repeat itself, but you got to be open, okay? There's no challenge that you can't handle. So there may be, like I said, something that may feel like it's going to repeat itself, but just keep watching, waiting. You're better off being in a state of observation. So less talking, possibly more watching and watching of others too. And by the way, Princess of Swords is in the position, which is the Page of Swords, is in the position of watching um, that watchful eye. Get more information. Yeah. Oh, yes. Get, okay. Let's get more, too, about this uh, Princess of Swords. So here you are at your rebirth, too, because, you know, this is your... Um, energy as well with the princess of swords gemini libra aquarius so i see you here you know at your new phase at your new beginning here but but there seems to be some clouds and stuff going on with this so <clears throat> we could be challenged here by a little bit of cloudy vision because that cloudy vision is the past you know, it's that past. It's this, it's this past disappointment. Yeah. Some of you may have even got, you know, disappoint, disappointed in like maybe, um, you know, maybe feeling abundant at one time and then maybe it all fell apart and, you know, we're having to rebuild and reestablish. Don't worry though. Okay. You are, 
and you're gonna be just fine. Everything happens for a reason, Libra, and I'm telling you, you don't think you have, you, you don't think you harvested something, you did. <laughs> you definitely harvested what you needed to, and like I said, you even got seeds from this to plant. You're coming in as very experienced, so don't question yourself. I want more with the Princess of Swords. Something very challenging uh, may have happened or will that could be off-putting, but there's going to be some type of like freedom with that. Let's get a little bit more with the Princess of Swords. Art. This is temperance. This is balance. Go easy on yourself and others. Watch and wait. You won't have to long and yearn um, anymore. And in fact, just be easy about that too. A opportunity is being crafted by your angels, your guardians on the other side here. Sagittarius is coming through with the arts. And maybe there is something here with the arts. You know, we have an alchemist here. So, woo, we could be um, inventing things, creating things. Um, hmm, we're turning something old into something brand new and beautiful. So trust you are coming into your divine blessings. Patience is all you need. It's like this is this is the exact thing that we need. It's almost like this is all of the nutrients, you know, that your angels are giving to you for your seeds here. All of this is abundance. You also have someone I feel uh, coming in, if you don't have them yet, where they're going to spark something within you here. Um, like an intellectual and spiritual level here. So it's going to be, it, it's going to be a very uh, good balance for you. Okay. And um, I would say be open to apologies possibly coming your way or offering them if you know it's something that you want to do. Um, but, you know, the thing is, is we have to always be in the place of forgiving ourselves first, right? No matter what, because it's your soul that has to carry the memories, the weight, you know, it's your soul no others so you get to be the boss of your own soul right and if you want to uh, have new seeds planted then you can have new seeds because you're already in a place of um, being in a position of receiving more good things into your life it's like the chosen one here in a sense okay what else for Libra it's up to you <laughs> oh my gosh um, let's get a little bit more. It's up to you. Ask your angels whatever you want. Improving health. Choose what you want to do. You know, if you want, you know, you don't have to listen to others either. If there's something that you want to try out or do, then do that. You know, and I was getting, um, you being in the justice position, which is uh, associated with your zodiac sign, Libra. So I just feel like, you know, it's like spirit is saying, be assertive. You know exactly what you need to do to bring more balance, health and healing to yourself, to others as well. So, you know, you can choose a path. And for a lot of you Libras that resonate as a healer, it's up to you on what you want to do with your gifts, your abilities, right? But it's important to maintain uh, balance, boundaries, so that you are making sure you're taking enough time to replenish and rejuvenate yourself to give. What else? <clears throat> meditation will bring answers yeah I feel you need to just kind of give yourself that space that you need that time that you need to carve out to meditate uh, to rest to relax your eyes even okay even if it's just a few minutes do it your angels are like ready to answer your questions what else 
Oh, nope, that is. That, that's it. Okay. So let's find out for you, Libra, what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Libra have to look forward to in the near future? Some of you Libras take it if it resonates. I just see something about beautifying your home or spit, you know, the space that you um, spend a lot of time in. What does Libra have to look forward to in the near future? Oh, this is a page of pentacles. So this is nice. This is this offering. Oh my goodness. You guys are going to be getting um, a head start here. Oh, that's so weird. You're getting a head start out of, you know, maybe even a toxic or negative situation, uh, leaving something behind here where you might have felt bound to because there's going to be something or someone new you're having some type of good news so i feel that you're going to be able to stop obsessing too <laughs> um now there's another thing that's coming through with you and another here especially when it comes to intimacy romance i feel you're going to be learning something um <laughs> when it comes to uh sexuality um and yeah, you know, uh, you know, experiencing something new when it comes to sexual pleasures, you know, possibly with yourself, right? Or uh, yes, with someone here. Okay. So we have Capricorn, we have Taurus, we have Virgo coming through. Let's find out how spirit is currently helping you. How is spirit currently helping Libra. It's like, yes, you know, I just heard big old truck going. It's like, you're getting a head start, Libra. <laughs> you're getting a head start. That's exactly what I see too. This head start from uh, something or someone too, that could be really um, just negative. They're just a negative energy. So, you know, spirit's got your back on that, protecting you. Okay, Spirit's helping you within the next few months. Okay, we're going to have to get more about this. Within the next few months, what is Spirit helping Libra with within the next few months? Adjustment. Oh my goodness. Look, Libra, this is you. This is, um, this is justice. A new adjustment in life, Libra. Oh my goodness, I would say you already uh, know or you soon will know because the more, listen, the more, <laughs> I know a lot of you are already doing this, but there's something about the more that you're in tuned with uh, this inner guidance, yes, separating yourself if you need to from outside external noises, conflicts that contradict with what you know to be good for you or healthy and wise for you because it's going to happen spirit is going to help you with a brand new agreement adjustment in life oh my god there could be a contract you know definitely a person i really sense again someone someone that's just a great companion or counterpart of support for you okay now uh, another thing, take this if it resonates uh, for those that are dealing with anything in the legal th stuff or maybe even taxes, um, you know, I'm seeing some good news with that. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.